Right guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to feature myself, Jacob, as a rugby player, reacting to Darren Waller. He comes in at number 99 on the top 100 players of 2020. And um, this is a series that I've embarked on just today. As you can see, we're two videos in. We've got 98 to go. Darren Waller. I've never heard of him. Have you? Let's go. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the most underrated player, in your opinion, on the Raiders? Oh. Um, guy no one knows about that's going to blow up. Darren Waller. That's going to blow up? Darren Waller. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something I didn't do last time. We're gonna to have to look up his fuck. He looks tall. Okay, I'm gonna go six foot. I'm gonna go six foot five. Darren Waller. Six foot six, two hundred and fifty-five pounds. Or well, for those of us in the southern hemisphere, a meter ninety-eight and one hundred and sixteen kg. He went pick number 204 in the 6th round of the 2015 draft to the Baltimore Ravens, spent 4 years there, and then got traded, I assume, to the Oakland Raiders, who are now the Las Vegas Raiders. He ran a 4.46 at 6 foot 6 and 1 eighth of an inch. Alright. As far as stats are concerned, that's not bad. Darren Waller. Did he go from wide receiver? This year is much higher. Darren Waller is a, he's a freak. He's like 6'6", six, six, looks like a power forward out there. He's a former receiver, so you can line mm. him up out wide against a corner, and the Thought five so. corner is going to struggle against that, you know, all day. When we saw him, he did a great job of high point, attacking the ball, they split him out wide. I wonder what his footwork's like at that kind of um, height. Outside, That's what'll be interesting. Does a good job tracking the ball, you know, uses his body and his size to hold a defender off. Great looking hands on the part of Darren Waller. We well, can do a nice knee slide. He's a guy who can win. He's a dynamic player for him, and they like to utilize him in a lot of ways. Your boy Waller is a dog, man. Never seen anything like him. Never seen anything like him. I was around Vernon Davis and Delaney Walker. Never seen yeah, anything seen like him. I think one of the things that I noticed in playing him this year was how fast he really. Nick Munnett. <sighs> Him this year was how fast he really was. Yeah, well, he's a 447. And I was running, and I'm like, dang, he's running away, so I need to speed up. An incredible athlete who's strong, <laughs> lengthy enough to really be effective in the blocking game, too. And that's what makes a great tight end a guy who can kind of do it all. A man of many talents. Well, like I asked before, what's his lateral movement like? It's obviously pretty good. She said, You got a real nice cash. What that mean? You must want to the cash. D Wall. I've been doing this for my family every day, and I'll take every second they hand me. Is he gonna finish that? Nice over the shoulder. No, I don't see many that's putting on this only one in my eyes. It's me, yeah. See, they're starting to run out of lies. Useful having an ex receiver playing at tight end because it means his hands are not going to let him down. And if he's got some nous about him and he enjoys the con he enjoys the contact as well. You see it at that size. He would enjoy contact. Anyone goes too low, he's going to hurt all the. Fuck out of here. And I probably shouldn't swear. That's what I'm going to work on. Anyways, guys, that was Darren Waller. Um, interesting. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. In the next video, we're looking at number 98, Brandon Brooks. He's a guard, 
and he looks absolutely monstrous. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.